your days in jail or a living hell, you bastard. But we can't even sleep at night knowing that you took away a valuable person. We pray that 48 years you feel the weight of your actions and the enormous loss you caused. Well, let me tell y'all what this monster did to my baby. He put three bullets in my baby. I'm going to start off with reading the post that my daughter Lala wrote. And it was a year after my baby was murdered. I just hate going around this time last year. You were somewhere taking your last breath. But I want to thank God for getting me through something that started a year ago today. Depression. The day my mama got that phone call and I heard they were saying Malaysia dead. My heart broke in half. I was like, what? Dead? Not late? I didn't believe it. I couldn't wrap my mind around it. I looked my mama in the face and I saw the hurt in her eyes. I still couldn't believe it. Then we went to confirm that it was indeed my sister. When I saw her laying on the table, my heart broke in a million more pieces. Pain, hurt, anger, and defeat washed all over me. And I cried hard. You looked asleep, but the fact I knew you wasn't crushed my soul. I still don't know how to feel or what to do. All I know is on that day, leaving your body in that funeral home changed my life forever. And nothing has been the same. Long live lay. What you know about pain? Reading that post and just living these last four and a half years. Try to put my pain to side to come for my children. Because Malaysia had she had a world behind her. We loved Malaysia. Malaysia was a vibe. She was full of life. Malaysia never hurt nobody. The only thing she was doing was hurting herself. People judged my baby. They lied on her name. Even in her imperfectness, God, what you look at is trash. God redeemed his treasure. And my baby's love could have kept her hers. She'll still be here. You broke me that day. You broke me, but you didn't destroy me. Because I know she's not here. You hurt her body, but you can't crush her soul. You done so much to hurt this family you don't know, and I pray to God that your child's mother don't have to endure the things that I did. Four and a half girls, I wonder what happened to my baby and why. The things I warned her about, I warned Malaysia about monsters like you, Satan, you heard me, devil. I warned my baby about the devil. And that day she got in a call with the devil. Everybody want to know what happened on May 18th. Well, let me tell y'all what this monster did to my baby. He put three bullets in my baby. He put three bullets in her head and in her neck. He, he threw her out the car like she was trash. And then he threw his condom right on top of the ground like she was nothing. He left her there and her panties in her bra. Damn you. Nothing but hell and death is going to come to you. And I tell you right now, Satan, and I'm talking to you, Kendra Lyles. You are the devil. And you have no victory here. No reign is over, devil. Her body might not be here. But her spirit lives in her legacy, girl. And I'm going to keep my baby name alive. And I'm going to get sick of her in his sin. Because you just looked at her as a transgender prostitute. But she was more than that. And I just pray that your days, every 48 year old belong you staying there. I just hope they just be miserable. You just need to suffer like I've suffered in my 
my family had suffered. I want to leave the city of battles because they honor my baby. You know, Malaysia always said she would want to, she would willing to die for her respect and her transition. She always said that. And hearing that as a mother, it just, it just bothered me. But Malaysia had her own mission. You can have plans for your children, but they have their own life to live. And like I say, she wasn't perfect, but she came from a family that loved her. She probably was trash to somebody else, but she was mine. Whatever she was, she was mine. And I love her, and I miss her every day. In Malaysia, your mama love you, and I got you, and I know you know that. But your justice, that's what they call it. You have received it today, and baby, you keep resting in peace. I wanted them to give you life. I, no, actually, I wanted them to snatch your life from you. Like you snatched my life from my sister. I wanted to get up here and ask you why you did it. But I know why you did it, because you a coward. You know you not no mean. That gun made you feel like you had power, but you don't got no power. I said, I serve a good God, and you will reap what you sow. I hope your days in jail are a living hell, you bastard. I'm here before you. I'm here before you today as a close friend, a member of Malaysia Booker's chosen family, and a representative of the community that has been forever scarred by your heinous act of brutally taking the life of Malaysia Booker. The pain, anger, and profound loss we feel are immeasurable, and I wish to bring the devastating impact this tragedy has had on our lives. Malaysia Booker was a remarkable individual who, a month before her murder, had shown exceptional courage and strength. She had already been subject to a brutal assault and experienced it. Instead of breaking her spirit, propelled her into becoming a dedicated speaker within the LGBTQ plus community. Malaysia took it upon herself to raise awareness about the hate and violence that transgender individuals face every day. She refused to be silenced by adversity and her unwavering determination inspired many. Not only did Malaysia advocate for change and acceptance, but she also took the time to mentor the younger community members struggling with their gender identity by going live on social media and letting them know it's okay to be true to who you are and bringing them into her chosen family. She guided them through the difficult process of self-discovery and the challenges they would encounter as they embraced their authentic selves. Her mentorship provided a lifeline for those who felt lost and alone in the world, often unaccepting to their true identities. All Malaysia efforts in future were tragically cut short by your cruel actions. At only 22 years of age, Malaysia's potential to make a significant and lasting impact on our community and society. She was beginning her journey not to only help her community, but also reach out to those beyond her immediate area, offering support to all who needed it. Malaysia still had things that she wanted, that she was working on for herself to become a better person as a whole. But you thought that night when you took her from us mm -hmm. that she didn't have family or friends that loved her. You thought she was going to get away with it, but Malaysia had a praying, loving mother, sisters that loved her dearly, and friends that was just like family and a community that loved her as well. We are outraged, and there is no punishment that can ever bring her back. We wanted you to spend the rest of your life in prison and be held accountable for the pain you inflicted on Malaysia and this community. We pray that 48 years you feel the weight of your actions and the enormous loss you cause, just as our community does every day. Malaysia Booker Nye will not go in vain. For her family, friends, and the entire community, we will forever be heard from this loss of an extraordinary individual who has so much to offer the world. We know that her name, Malaysia Booker, will live on within the hearts and prayers of the community that loves her so dearly. So I want you to know and everybody else know trans lives matter. Mr. Lyles, you can't even look at me, can you? I came here today wondering what, what would I say to you? I've been waiting four and a half years to try to figure out what would I say. As I got up this morning, I said, you know what, I'm going to give it to you. As you look at this picture, you can't even look at me because Malaysia and I look alike. I'm Malaysia's aunt. I'm my oldest aunt. Malaysia was loved. She's missed. And it's just 48 years. That's not, a, that's not enough time. You can't give life. So why did you take it? You know why you took it? You took it because you enjoyed what you did, and then you thought about it after the fact. You should have been thinking before you done it. I hope every day of the 48 years
that you live your life. I hope you remember over and over. I hope you can't even sleep at night knowing that you took away a valuable person. We love Malaysia. We love my niece. I hope every day of the 48 years that you think about what you've done and that you die. I mean, just literally every day, over and over and over again, because I'm sorry, ain't gonna get it. We might not never know the why, and I wish we knew why. This shouldn't have happened, but it did. And I hope that justice, Malaysia will get the justice that she deserved.